Next up, Zach Halloran, Jer Halloran, and Jack Lombardo from Twill. Twill provides warmth and inspiration for children when they need it most. For every 100% organic cotton made in the USA blanket that is purchased, one is donated to a child to meet the need, to a child in need. We will leave no child uncovered. Good evening. Can everybody hear me? Yes. Good. All right. Uh, my name is Zach Allen, the CEO and founder of Twill. For every 100% organic cotton blanket we sell, you go back to a child of need. I'm Jack Lombardo. Um, I am the chief operating officer of the company and also the blanket buddy coordinator. You guys can hear me, right? Yeah. The difficulty was tough out there with that mic, so I'm just going to speak it like this. My name is Jeremy Halloran, co owner of Twill and CFO, chief financial officer of Twill as well. And here we go. Uh, picture this, my younger brother was 17 in the mental health hospital about two years ago, and I saw the need for warmth and inspiration in a very deep, dark place. And this was actually here in the capital region. Um, I'm from here, one of seven. And uh, you know, growing up in Albany, mental illness is very under talked about. And it's one of those things that we need to bring to light as a company. And it inspired me, his experience inspired me, inspired me. He's better now, he's got a full-time job, healthy. Uh, but his experience in the hospital, not having quality textiles, quality sport, good food, lasagna at night, all those different things, um, you know, that was, that was tough. And other folks did have that as well. So that inspiration came to me, sat down with my brother, my partner Jackie, who was in Hawaii at the time, and said, hey, I've got no money, let's start a company. And let's start a for-profit company that gives back. The numbers here represent the amount of children in the capital region, New York State, and the United States that are in need. These numbers are comprised of children facing um, long-term health illnesses, homelessness, and temporary hardship. In order to combat these numbers and bring them down, we've teamed up with 15 local nonprofit organizations to provide children warmth, inspiration, and love through a blanket. What we have is a 100% organic cotton blanket. All of the cotton is grown in Texas. It is then shipped to South Carolina where it's cut, loomed, and sewn, so it's also 100% USA made. We have two size blankets that are for sale. We have a pro size blanket that fits perfectly over the back of your couch, as well as a child size blanket for the newborn coming into your life. We also sell tote bags. Our tote bags are a really important process to our sales. Every time a tote bag is also purchased, we also donate a blanket. So what's the difference? Lots of us have heard of companies that give one, you buy one, they give one. What's the difference between us and them? Our customers are actually able to choose the organization at the point of sale that they want their blanket to go to. So at the point of sale, this is the exact screen they see. They can click on any one of these organizations. We serve uh, places such as American Red Cross and St. Catherine Center for Children. Also, when a customer buys from us here locally, a blanket is then locally donated. If we were to sell a blanket out in San Francisco and have that kind of um, you know, clout behind us, at this point, we would be able to find a nonprofit in San Francisco to donate a blanket to. So who's the market? Who are we selling to? Uh, we're selling to the mom, the rock of the family, one that has two and a half kids, a dog, a cat, takes care of everything, cleans up the house, is a blogger, a yogi, does all that brings social conscious goods into the house, healthy, fit, runs, works for the family. And those that our research is telling us over and over that comes to that table back there, that that person wants to buy our blanket and give back. So how are we gonna approach these customers? First, online. We wanna sell most of our product online at an 80-20 split. We wanna be at mytool.com, selling our product and giving back. We're gonna do that by targeting through Facebook, social media, certain blogs, social influencers, SEO, and PPC campaigns. Now that's all great, but we can also gain customers through wholesale, networking, and events, and also our corporate giving program. What does a wholesale client look like? A hotel. Imagine every tool blanket at the edge of the bed at Hilton Garden Inn across the country. What about our corporate giving program? What if your company came in and did a co-branded venture in our tote bag? 
And for every tote bag you purchased, for your employee, you gave one back to a child in need. Okay, and also what about events? What about swag bags? Those tote, tote bags are perfect for runners. They're organic, they can hold your sneakers, they can hold your, you know, all those different, you know, exercise bars and everything that you need in there. Okay, maybe working with something like that would be like the North Face, the retailer of warmth, getting all the swag bags to the runners. So they roughly have about 17,000 runners this year coming up in 2016. That'd be amazing. This year is our team. We are comprised of three owners. Um, Zachary runs a daycare facility during the day. I'm a licensed attorney as well as a student. And Jeremy is not only a dad, but he also works for a language service provider. We also have a sales team as well as artistic and marketing. So we're getting traction in the capital region, which is very important. We're getting a lot of marketing, local Times Union Gazette. We've been funded on Kickstarter successfully in 30 days, raised $10,000 with absolutely no money. So we've been able to solidify a United States manufacturer right in South Carolina, Greenville, about 800 miles away down south. We've been able to, in the past 12 months, sell 1,200 blankets and give 1,200 blankets in the capital region in 12 months from August to August. We've worked really hard. You know, we have a little bit of our team here, and we're really excited to have them here. Um, and finally, you know, honestly, 70,000 gross revenue in our first 12 months of sales. It's nothing to laugh at. It's great. It's exciting. But we need to double and triple that going into the 2016 fiscal year. And where we're at right now in our sales, we had a 38% GPM, gross profit margin. We are giving away a portion of our sales. We are a for-profit business. We are very clear about that. But we want to grow and gain traction going into 2016 is get to a 50% GPM by charging our customers $5 flat, flat rate shipping. We've been in a customer acquisition space for about 12 months. We need to get our customers out there help on us out. And they've been willing to do that, and we can do that as we go into the next year. The vision of Twill is simple. We want to create community. We want to create conversation between a mom and their child while they're sitting cuddled under their Twill blanket watching the movie. We want to create a conversation between our customer and the person receiving really that simple. We want to be able to bring everyone together through the warmth, love, and inspiration that 12 things blanket provides. And I think final last thing with the community as well is you go down the street at the new St. Mary's Cancer Center, you're going to see 12 blankets in there provided to cancer patients. You're going to go all the way to bed at the Melody Center, you're going to see 12 blankets provided to the Pediatric and NICU Center. Those are, that's already happened. We need more focus on that in the area and to grow our product and build a sense of community. So what we need from you, go online and mypill.com and purchase a blanket. It's that simple, and we'll give one. And it really is that simple. But we're looking for strategic partnership. We are looking for an investment. And you know what, we know we're a for-profit business that gives back. We have to have revenue in, we have to have sales. If there is no sales, there is no giving to be done. So again, thank you so much for your time and your energy. My name is Zach, Jeremy, Jack, here's our emails. Check us out on Facebook and all the social media outlets, and feel free to check out our product back there. Thank you. So at this time, is there any questions that you may have? Are you thinking about making a full-size blanket? So the question is, are we thinking about making a full-size blanket? So something that is understandable about Twill is we, our cotton is grown in Texas. It's then shipped to South Carolina. And that's where it's, the loom comes in. That's where the sewing, the cutting, and the packaging goes. So yes, we are. They have, we have the option, our manufacturer has the option of producing 5,000 blankets a month at 50% capacity. With the ability to double capacity at 10,000, knowing that the sales are coming in from 12. That's the first thing. Second thing is, yes, we can. We have the ability to produce bedding sheets, organic blankets, and organic beds. All 100% organic and made in the United States as well. Good question. Anybody else? Right here. Have you thought about selling your tote bags at like That's actually another good, good question because somebody actually. Take that question. Oh, sure, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Little brother stepping in. We've been trying to get into the Detroit Farmers Market yet. No response. But hopefully, maybe someone can move that along. That'd be great because we would love to be there. So, uh, somebody that'd be awesome. Detroit Farmers Market. Right now, if you make it, you can sell it. You should talk to the Detroit bid. There we go. Perfect. Connection. This is what it's all about, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you for asking the question. Really appreciate it.
Somebody help? Oh, yeah. Um, so if I buy a blanket online, how does it affect my insurance policy? Like, is it going to the nonprofit that I want it to go to? Okay. Um, basically, the question is, is when you buy our blanket or buy our product online, how do you know, or even in hand, how do you know that product's going to that organization that you're choosing? So there's a couple ways that we do that. The first way is that on your receipt, it specifically says right on there who you're giving it to. We either email that receipt to you or text it to you. Um, that's one way. The next way is through social media campaign. So the full fold is not just to buy a product and then, okay, you're done with Will. We want you to check us out on our social media sites, check us out on Facebook, and so on and so forth. You'll actually see us as a team do the physical drop-offs. So the pictures you saw of Zach taking a selfie with those kids, those are homeless children at um, St. Catherine's Homeless Shelter in Albany. We gave our first, very first drop-off was giving. We gave 50 handmade blankets to children in need, the homeless app the Miralex Center in Albany. And the goal is, is to capture that image. The future goal is, <laughs> the future goal is to develop an application that can help people be on point with that and show them where it's coming. Am I cut off? <laughs>